retro title effect i've been seeing a lot of music videos recently i did it in a couple and then i've been seeing it everywhere i go so we're doing it um premiere first vegas second follow my instagram if you want me to edit your music video and stuff and yeah all right so to get your text like this you're gonna need one plugin it's the same plugin i always talk about it's a red giant universe and once you have that you're good to go so a lot of you already have it let's get into it the effect is called universe.av club uh that's the effect that's how you do it it's just a drag and drop on your text and you'll be done all right so now i'm going to go into detail so i can get my video to 10 minutes and let's do this so some quick tips about titles i've seen a lot of uncentered ugly looking titles so what i usually do i don't make a box like this because it's just hard to center i usually just click it once type whatever i need to type all right uh, click out and then I go to the essential graphics tab make sure my text is selected click on this and then click these little two buttons and it should center the text exactly where it needs to be if you scale it up like this just click these little two buttons again and it'll do the same thing now like I said before you just drag the effect onto the text so drag AV club onto the text and now we can see you pretty much have kind of the same thing now well, I'm going to go and show you how to do each of these previews. Uh, they're not that hard. They're just presets. So for this first one, the preset, you're going to want to go to the effect controls. Close this out. Close that out. AV Club Browse Presets. For the YBN preset, you're going to need this UHF one. Select that, and then you'll have the same exact text. All right, if we can see, compare. Same exact text, so you guys can see it. Alright, uh, for this famous Dex one, this is another preset again, not that hard. The preset for this one is the last one, Extreme Orange. Select, and you'll have the same text that you're looking for. Alright, so what I like to do for like a default and create my own, I like to use Megafuzz and Composite Video. Uh, this one is this is gonna start blinking and it's kind of cool I used it before this one is gonna blink yellow like it says old d1 I don't really use this but yeah this one is cool too like I said just play around with these um, they are what they look like this one's cool too so if you're gonna start make your own preset I'd suggest start with this one make a fuzz and composite video so I'm gonna start with composite video and this just pretty much has like the basic what you need uh, to look like a retro text. I don't really like this text, so I'm going to change it to the previous one I had. Boom, 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 boom. Where's it at? There you go. And then change it back so it's centered. Why is it doing that? I have no idea. That changed the position. Yeah, it did. Anyways, uh, let me stop wasting time. Alright, so let's go back to this. So like I said before, if you're going to make your own, this is where you should start. The uh, source fuzzy makes it how fuzzy it is. Like that, you can kind of see the edges, how fuzzy it is. I like the more fuzzy look. The source blocky, I don't really like it that blocky, but it, just a little bit is fine. And now, what I like about the old film look is the jitter. So let's skip down to the bottom right here. You see the jitter is 0%. This is the up and down so if I play it now, and if I put it to 100% and I play it now, it's going to bounce up and down. I really like that a lot. That's just my opinion. If you want to change the colors, uh, it's easy. So you see this tint here. This would be your pink. You're wondering why it's not pink. Well, it's because the tint strength is all the way down. So if we bring this up, it's going to be super pink. So we'll make a bright pink and blue text. Uh, you see this edge color. You can see it kind of in the back. We're going to make that blue, right? Like light blue, which I'm not using the right colors. All right. And then the edge freak out. If we bring that all the way up, we see hit this. Now, if you look at it, it would go super crazy like that. Uh, it does, doesn't look too flattering. So I'm just going to bring that down and I'm going to bring the hue down too. The edge freak out is still a little bit too much and making it look blurry. So now we have that. We just cool too. Separation is kind of RG and like an RGB split. Um, you, I don't really use that. Yeah, 
uh, you have some noise with quantize color and post noise is actual noise and the blink speed is uh, like I said before you can blink you know with like uh, probably give someone a seizure but it looks cool and then the blink color you know to blink your tint so if I make the tint yellow like that make the tint strength a lot then it'll blink yellow which that looks really cool and I probably would use something like that and yeah that's basically it for this tutorial leave a like and comment and subscribe for more tutorials blah 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 alright so we're here in Vegas Pro now and if you didn't watch the previous version I don't know why you wouldn't it's Premiere you're gonna need one plugin just like all my other tutorials is the same plugin it's Red Giant Universe so once you have this plugin, if you follow my other tutorials, you should have it already. Uh, once you have this plugin, you can make this cool title, this retro title, blah, 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 blah. All right, so let's make a text first. So we go to Media Generators tab, Titles and Text. I'm just going to drag that on. Type whatever you want. So I'm going to write dash. All right, I'm just going to do that. Now, if you look at it, we'll have stash. Now I'm going to change the font. Anyway, so let's get on to the effect. Like I said before, the plugin you need is Red Giant Universe. And the effect is called AV Club. So you see right here, you see universe.av club. Drag, just click that and drag it on to your Vegas, to your title. And then the effect will come up. And that's pretty much the effect. Now let's go through all the previews first so we can see how to do each of them. I was having trouble importing to my Vegas, so I'm just going to go off memory. The YBN preview, um, let's change this, hold on. So if I want to change the effect, I click on this little effects button. The YBN preview is a preset, just click on browse presets, go to UHF, and it will be the exact same text. Sorry if that was pretty loud. And then I play this. Okay, let me play that, and it would be the exact same text. The famous Dex preview is another preset. It's the one right after it called Extreme Orange, and then you'll get the exact same thing. And now with this already, you can have cool titles and text like a lot of people are doing, so you can do that. But keep on watching if you want to know more about it because I'm going to go through all of them. Um, let's say you're going to make your own preset and not look like everyone else. I recommend starting off by clicking browse presets and starting off with composite video mega fuzz or even public access that's how I usually make my own all these you can pretty much tell what they are this by now is just a blinking and this blink yellow is it blinks yellow but I'm gonna start off on a composite video and try to replicate my own look at that that looks oh I think I clicked blink oh wrong program <laughs> All right, so if once I click on composite video, uh, it'll look like this. And now what we can do is we go back to the effects tab and mess with it. So the tint strength, uh, it's pink. You can see a little bit of pink here, but that's not from the tint. That's from the separation. So if I do that, it's a little bit of RGB separation. Now if the tint strength is up, it'll turn pink. Now the edge freak out, uh, you can kind of see it back here. It's a little bit of green. Let me change this to a different color to blue. And I hate when that does that. And then I bring this up and you see it goes crazy. Now this edge freak out noise. Um, and uh, you can mess with this. But I don't really like this that much. So I'm going to do that. I'm, gonna just, oh, I'm changing the hue. The edge freak out. I'm going to bring that back down to zero. Right? Or a little bit above there. Now if you want to make it. A little bit it's too crispy right now so let's make it a little bit so I'm gonna bring the source fuzzy up a little bit and then it looks kind of you know fuzzy it looks a little bit more blended in you can bring out the blockiness just a little bit just to make it look like that now for my old time footage I was I always like to use a jitter so I just bring this all the way up and now if you look at it we'll have a cool text that's pretty much it thanks for guys for watching more tutorials coming soon Blah, blah, blah. Like, subscribe. Later.